Perhaps you've seen talk around about MCP or Model Context Protocol. Here on the website, it says exactly what it is. MCP is an open protocol that standardizes how applications provide context to LLMs. And this is very useful in the context of Prisma Postgres because it enables us to be able to interact with Prisma Postgres via an LLM. And alongside the release of Prisma 6.6, there is support for MCP in tools like Cursor, Windsurf, and others. And today we're going to take a look at how to use it in Cursor. So over here in Cursor, we've got a very bare bones Prisma project ready to go. And what we'll do is take a look at how to enable MCP here in Cursor. So let's go up here and we'll go to Cursor Settings. So Settings and then Cursor Settings. This is one of the spots that we can enable MCP. We can do it globally at this level, but we can also do it at the project level, which we'll take a look at in just a minute. So here we are in the MCP tab. It gives us a little more information about what MCP is all about. It's a way to offer new tools to Cursor Agent essentially. If we click here to add a new global MCP server, we're taken to this JSON file. And this is essentially a list of any MCP servers that might be available that we might want to use. The definition, if we want to use the Prisma MCP server, looks like this. We've got Prisma, command is npx, and then we pass some args so that we can tell cursor agent how to work with this MCP server. Okay, so we'll save that file. If we didn't want to have it globally set like this, we could choose to have it at the project level. To do that, we'd create a directory here called cursor. And then inside of that, we could create a file called mcp.json. And essentially it would have the same content that we just put into our global definition here. But I'll just have it set globally. That's fine for my case. I would like to have it just set and ready to go. All right, so there's an update here and we get a bit of an error. I think that's related to our demoing of setting it up locally. But if we scroll down here, we do see the Prisma MCP server is enabled and we get tools, specific tools that come with this server. So for example, a migrate dev command. If we hover over each of these tools, we can see more about what they do. And indeed, there's a full description of what happens when we interact with these tools. So how do we interact with these tools? Well, let's take a look at that. If we open command L here in cursor so that we get our chat window, what we can do is start to talk to cursor and have it use this MCP server to give us back answers and to do things against Prisma Postgres. So for example, am I logged into PDP? So the Prisma data platform. So it's checking our PDP login status. It wants to call this tool Prisma Postgres account status. So that's one of the tools available here. So we can choose to run the tool. All right, so here we go. We've got an answer. And indeed, this is all correct. I'm logged into the Prisma data platform with this account currently. And so what we might do now is choose to create a database for ourselves, for example. So let's do that. Create a database called Prisma test. All right, so it is going ahead and it's going to default to the US East region, US East one. It wants to call this tool here, create Prisma Postgres database. So that's a tool available in this MCP server. We can get a little bit more on that if we unroll this here. And essentially this is some data that is passed to the MCP server to do the work that we want to do. All right, so let's go ahead and run this. All right, so it looks like things have run. We've got some more output here for what we might do next. Let's scroll back up here and says, great, your Prisma Postgres database Prisma test has been successfully created. We can confirm this if we go over to our Prisma data platform accounts and let's refresh the page there. And there we go, there is Prisma test created one minute ago. So here we didn't need to touch anything in the Prisma data platform UI to get a database created. We didn't need to run any command line things ourselves to get this database here. Rather, we can use the agent here in cursor to do so thanks to this MCP server. All right, so how about as one last step here, let's see if we can run migrations for our schema, which is here. We've just got a simple user model for now. Let's see if we can get a migration to run and get this table added to our database. So back down here, let's do this, please run migrations against the schema.prisma file. So it's saying here that it's going to run Prisma migrate dev. This calls the MCP tool migrate dev. Let's run that. All right, so we've seen our first little hiccup here and that is that it's encountered an error because we need to add the database connection to our environment file. It looks like Cursor wants to make a few changes here to our schema file. All right, so we can take that change. We're going to call the MCP tool migrate dev again, run that tool. All right, cool. So it looks like the migration has run. Indeed, we've got our migrations directory with migration file there. 
Let's take a look in the database in the Prisma Data Platform now. We'll click into it here. Let's go to Development. We'll go to Studio. And here in Studio, we have got that user table that was created through that migration. So Prisma Postgres is the perfect database to use with any AI tools because it is trivial to set up a new database. We can spin tons of databases up really quickly. And so it's a great pairing for lots of different AI tools. And now with the model context protocol, it's even easier to interact with our Prisma Postgres database right here from the chat window. So we invite you to give this a shot to take a look at the various tools here that are available in the Prisma MCP server. Give it a try to log into your Prisma data platform account, create a database and do some more beyond that. And if you like this video, we would love if you'd subscribe to the channel and we'll make sure to bring you more great Prisma content. We'd also love for you to join the conversation on Discord. We'll drop a link to that below. You can follow us online on Twitter. We're at Prisma there, or you can reach out to us on the web at prisma.io. Thanks for watching.